Hello guys, I'm Trust here, just coming at you with another quick video, and um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use module.exports in Node.js. Uh, so basically what this allows us to do is, it allows us to break down our application into lots of different mini files, uh, which can then be imported into the main application, and uh, this basically just saves us from having all our code in one big huge file, because obviously that's pretty uh, unmaintainable and pretty cluttered, so uh, yeah, let's just get started straight into it, I've made a file. A folder site called uh, exports on my desktop and this is the folder that we're going to be using uh this was a request a video by the way uh by a guy called echo that i know so um if anyone else has any future requests just let me know and i'll make a video on them so to get started we'll just create two files in here we'll create uh, app.js for a main app file and then we'll create another one just called module.js and this will be the module that we're going to export into our main app so basically to get started the words uh, module.exports. So basically what this will do is this will basically expose any part of the file that we want because by default, obviously nothing will be exposed from the file because we haven't specified to expose anything. But if we do uh, module.exports equals true. So basically this is the most basic sort of thing that you could do. This basically just exports a boolean from the file so that any other you know part of your application can see this if it imports the file so what we can do then is we can go back to our app file and we can just simply say uh, so for example let bull equals and then we can require this file so it's in the same uh, directory so we just do dot slash module and now we can export the, or now we can access this file um, yeah what's been exported from this file I mean so then we can just do a console.log just to verify that that everything's working and I'll just go to it I call this exports and then uh, let's just run our main app and as you can see true gets logged here because we're actually importing this true from the module and then importing it into our app which happens up here so before i get started anymore there are a few different ways to actually export uh different things from our uh, from the file itself so obviously we've done module that exports equals true we can also do uh, so for example uh, if it's a function we can export a function then and uh, you know for example just like that then return true we can also do module dot exports dot and then like a bull so then that's if we're you know exporting an object instead of a function or a value so we could just do module exports such uh, bull equals true then we could do module.exports dot like anything else uh, in here so then we can have multiple of these we can only have one of these because obviously you know we're overwriting that old one by declaring it again if we want to export multiple values we need to use an object like this the other way to do it is to uh, just declare an object in here and then have various different you know functions and things in here so like something like this and then this would export this object like this these two here are basically identical uh, there's no difference between these this is just whichever way you prefer to lay them out i know most people would prefer to lay them out like this and just have the functions here like this uh yeah generally you'll be exporting functions uh from these files so let me just get rid of module now since we're done with that <clears throat> so first of all what i'll do is obviously we need classes so, for example, if we have a class file in here called, uh, I'm just going to call it hello. Uh, so, basically, with this class, then, it doesn't really matter what we do. Um, so, this is a very, very basic class here. So, there are two ways that we can export this class. Um, by the way, this is just like, to have your class in separate files is always very good practice. You know, it's no good declaring your class at the top of a file and then working from it because the file is going to quickly get very cluttered. So if we want to export this, we just do module that exports equals hello. And then we just follow the same process as before. I'm actually just going to get this back in here. Um, so basically, uh, we can just do hello here. Then we can initialize this. So... And then that should be our object created then. And um, we can obviously just do console.log hello.hello just to verify that we've got that okay. Oh my goodness. And there we go. We get that logged out there. So that's basically uh, importing a class file into here. 
Uh, another way to do this is just to directly put modulate exports in front of the class. So if we just do modulate exports equals class hello, that would also work as well. But I know that I would certainly prefer to just declare the class and then put the modulate exports at the bottom. Uh, there's nothing really much else to say. I can just do an example for like, for example, for like a database file in here. The way that I would usually do this, uh, if you just do module.exports. For example, like get user by ID or something like that, um, then we can make this a function and just have like an ID and a callback, and uh, then we just do the database logic in here. We uh, run the callback function with like some like user object or something like that, and then we come back in here. So what we then can do, for example, is then just let the database require our database file. <clears throat> then we can do db dot get user by id. Uh, we'll just do an id of one. We have our callback in here. And so don't log result. Just to give you a practical example of this, um, and there's our id object that we got from the database, or would be getting from the database in a real life application. So yeah, this has basically been how to import different files using module that exports and require in Node.js. If you have any more questions, just feel free to leave those in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.